Let me see. Everything seems to be in order. I'm just gonna jump right in. What's up, belly button? Made by Gemzel. Uh, okay, we can look around with the map. What? We're on our computer. Forget your phone when you're driving. We're on our computer. A few hours ago, we received an anonymous call from someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means. Investigate the crime scene. After that, drive around the area, use your map, talk to people, and ask if they've seen anything weird. If you encounter a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. Don't get cornered. Mimics are highly trained predators. Good luck. Kind regards, Nathan. Ooh, there's a map. Can we place markers? Nope. And we can't really move around to see it either. How do I get out of here? There we go. Oh, this is how we drive. Oh, this must be the accident up here. a police officer. Let me just pull around here, sir. There we go. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Footprint? Cigarette? A purse? The poor lady. Yeah, it it did have the same art style. I played Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. I think that was the one I played. I haven't played any other Fears to Fathom games, though. An abandoned car, a lake of blood, and no body. And no valuables are missing. How do you know? You don't know. car was smoking when you arrived here. You think the victim was driving up this road and had to stop because the engine had an issue. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind a bush. That thing was probably one of the big ones. There's a huge footprint in front of the car. It was pretty big. Oh, how did you like Iron Bark? I, it, legitimately, it legitimately was a little freaky at times. The retro graphics does not stop it from being scary. What's up, Nintendo Bruce? Hopefully you and Crystal are having a good day. I always said hi. I already said hi to Belly Button. 37 years old, according to her ID. No, not at all. But it seems like they're expanding their territory. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I moved my car out of the way. I didn't know there'd be other cars on the road. All good this side other than the eternal struggle of aging. Oh, dear. Aging comes for us all, doesn't it? I've been doing decently well myself. Thanks for asking. I can't complain. Especially since I'm... Uh, not as aged, I should say. <laughs> all jokes, of course, all jokes. I should probably, um... Digesting her in the woods, that's spooky. It was okay, it just ended abruptly, and with the whistling in the woods, you thought it would go in a different direction. Oh, I didn't really have any expectations. I kind of thought it was funny, though, they had you go pee in the outhouse at that one point. Or it was an option to pee in the outhouse. <laughs> Don't worry, you know what they say. The the grayer the beard, the wiser you are. Just you're just not a green beard anymore. At least that's the perspective I have. And of course everybody thinks they're awesome even though you're older than them, which uh is not often People would say a, a boomer is cool, fun to hang out with. <laughs> you pee in almost every other game too? Are you talking about like the uh, 
fears to fathom games. They just pit it in there as a little... Alright, they want me to drive around and find a plan. And I have a map on my laptop. If you want, you can take a look at the crime scene yourself in case I missed anything. Will do. See you back at the station. Stay safe. Okay, I see. It's just a game series called uh, Fears to Fathom. They're like tiny little horror tid tidbit games. But like in every one of them apparently, or like every other one, there's just an option where you can like go and pee in the bathroom, which I thought was funny. It like, it's not a part of the game. You can just do it. All right, uh, let's see if we miss something. Cigarette, got the purse, the blood. It, can we get up to the car? Staying inside would have been safer, probably. Doesn't look like I can do anything. What is this? It's just a flower bush? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Does it unlock the good ending? Well, I don't know, but it sure uh, would help me hide from the killer without uh, peeing my pants. I'm wondering if there's gonna be like a body somewhere or some more evidence nearby the crime scene. So let's do a little bit of a sweep in the woods. Remember he said I had a firearm, but I don't I don't know how to equip it or if I'm having it or if I have it. Uh but I'd just check the side real quick, see if there's footprints running into the woods. Which it doesn't look like it. If this thing is leaving footprints in pavement, it should probably be... What is this here? Oh, he has the whole, like, detective and evidence kit here. Well, it looks like this guy has pretty much got everything. A lot of blood, but no flesh, so could be devoured. Handbag of the victim. Cigarette is still warm. They were just smoking outside their car at a tragic end. And there we go, we investigated the crime scene. Now it's time to find the ones causing these crimes. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. No new emails, where am I on this map? Mystery solved! It's just that simple. She got eight. Alright, I think I think it looks like we're pulling up to the gas station here. Maybe we can pee. Is there a bathroom? Let's try. Alright, park this car. What do we got? Well, you can't interact with the gas. The door's open. Oh look. Howdy. This guy looks familiar. This guy looks more UK, doesn't he? But Bruce has the expert opinion, of course. What can I do for you, sir? There's a mimic attack just down the road. Bad for business, that's what you're concerned about? Although, that kind of makes him less of a mimic in my eyes. Everything is just as always. Only thing I know is that you should be very careful. Nowadays, they're extremely good at pretending to be human. Uh-oh. It looks like he's had enough waiting in a queue. <laughs> Does that happen a lot in the UK? <laughs> uh, to be fair, uh, Canada is probably around the same. If you're talking about queues like government office or uh, hospitals... Yes, I'd say Canadians have it about the same.
I'm good. Good luck with the search, officer. Alright, I'm not entirely convinced just yet, but I am kind of feeling like this guy isn't going to be too much trouble, but might as well just take a small look around, sir, to see if you're hiding anything. Ah, uh, his shoes aren't- his shoes aren't big enough. Yeah, <laughs> but the look of waiting four and a half hours before you see a doctor, and then they come in and don't do anything about the issue you have. They're like, well, hmm, try to do these, like, stretches and call me back in a week. We'll get back to you in another month, if it's still hurting. Alright. I'm gonna take a look through the garbage and stuff. We can't leave anything too much up to our gut, because I shouldn't really trust my gut. He has a white van. That's kind of sketchy. Oh, but it's like for his company. Less sketchy. I was gonna say, you might have a victim in the back here, but I can't... Uh, you can see inside. There's no body. All right. Well, you have a good day, sir. Hopefully you don't die. I'd close your door if I were you. He hasn't... He hasn't actually, uh... Closed his door when I told him that. All right, we're at the gas station. Let's see, uh... If I go, oopsies, don't hit the yield sign. It should be a stop sign, not a yield sign. Let's go see, I think this way might be to the motel. And if there's a guest in the motel, it could be the mimic trying to sleep off his dinner. And if that's the case, May God be merciful on this mimic, because I won't. Okay. It's too bad I can't turn on the lights and sirens. We have two vehicles that I see so far. This is probably manager's office. Well, well, well. You look like you have a tumor. A mimic, you say? Damn, I just hope I'll never meet one of these things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird, but there's a farm east from here. Maybe they can help you more than I do. You could also follow the road up north. There's an area that is used for camping. Thank you for your time, sir. But... I am not totally convinced. Bro has a gat, too. What the... Like, hey, why are you trying to block me from getting back here? What are you hiding back here, son? Anything behind that counter? Can't ring the bell. They really need to add more attention to detail like, uh, Fierce to Fathom does. But anyways, can I go in any of these rooms? There's nothing in here that I can see. So it must not be rented out. The curtains are drawn on number two, and number three, and number four. I'm not convinced. I think I'm coming back here. There's gotta be someone hiding in here. Because I'm pretty sure there are mimics, not just one mimic. Can't open. Can kind of see through the curtains here. Kind of in here, but there's nothing. Ooh, I'm getting a little spooked. The mimics are hiding a little too well. <laughs> uh, no suspicion so far. Hmm. Check this car. Doesn't look like any blood in there. Hmm. This is a pretty nice pickup you got here. Anything inside? Alright. We want motel. Didn't work out. So next, we're gonna go around to the camping spot and then the cabin. 
and I I fear. See you later, Bruce. Uh, thanks for stopping in, of course. I appreciate the lurk. Hopefully, uh, nothing too um, annoying is c keeping your attention. But uh, understandable, please, by all means, get get work done. As I myself am doing, searching out these mimics. Okay. I should probably drive on the right side of the road since uh, I did see other cars. What the? It's Ori? What do we owe the pleasure? Okay. <laughs> this has got to be near the campsite, yeah. My car runs really poorly on the dirt, but I'm going to park in the dirt. Just so that... You're on break at work? How is work going? I worked yesterday and I'm working tomorrow, but my shifts are till still too short that they don't give me, they don't give me, uh, they don't give me breaks. This is a game kind of like Fears to Fathom. It's like the same sort of graphics, but we're hunting a mimic that's eating people around here. In case you want to know what's going on. What do you want? I'm a police officer. I'm here to investigate a mimic-related incident. Can I talk to you for a second? We can talk, but I'll keep this door closed for my own safety. That's not an issue. So you know anything that could help you out? No, not me, but there's a homeless guy. Last night he came out to my tent, wanted some change. He said some stuff about hearing screams coming from the woods. I thought he was bullshorting me or that he was on something. Anyways, if you want to talk to him, just follow the road eastwards. Alright, we have our first potential mimic. You had a guy look at the scars on your arm and say, Someone hated themselves in high school. <laughs> what? Actually? No way. <laughs> what? Who even was that? Look, why does this dude have an RV and a tent, bro? Bro is gonna struggle sleeping in a tent when he has an RV. Either that or it's for his kids. <laughs> what a weirdo. But hold on, this guy said follow the pathway east? What path? I don't know if I can pull up a map. I can't talk to this dude anymore, so I'm guessing he means continue up the road. And we might run into the homeless guy. He said, follow the road east. Okay. Well, uh, if I look at the map, it doesn't, it doesn't give me a time. But we're going to go to this cabin. The road is kind of strange to get to the cabin or through the driveway. Let me see. What is this? Oh, there's a homeless guy. Alright, I have to do my job as a cop and make the homeless guy's life miserable. Sir! Sir! Are you standing near a public road, sir? Oh my gosh, he's covered in blood. Oh, is he not? It looks like he was, for a second. I hear screams sometimes at night. Do you see this road going up there? I think there's a house. The screams are coming from there, I think. You should take a look. I guess I'll have to. 
All right. Uh, you know what? This guy gave me pretty solid start. Gonna do a little, uh, turn here. Don't hit the homeless guy! He would have turned into a mimic or something. I'm trying to turn around to go down this, uh, driveway. He said he heard screams coming from here. Oh boy, this is like a pizza delivery guy's worst nightmare. I see lights. That might be just the trailer though. Oh boy, front door's open, this is bad. Ugh, oh, I'm getting a little bit of chills. This game is a little bit too freaky. Oh boy. It's an old retired man with this type of car. And he was eaten. Alright, investigating time. What do we have? Uh oh. I don't have a gun! <laughs> Where's the gun? Oh, I have a gun. Okay. That doesn't sound human. Can I pee real quick? That is not a human. <sighs> the garage? Hello? Oh my gosh. Hello? What am I talking about? I, I have a gun. This is the police! Come out with your hands in the air! It's in that bush, I think. Be cautious. Is that an elk? Are they trying to scare us, like, with an elk that doesn't really sound like an elk? Oh boy, we're going deep in the woods. Hello? It's getting close, but the bushes are getting thicker. My gosh. Hello? It's right on top of me. Hello? My heart. <gasps> ah! Go! Go! My gosh! <laughs> Whoo! You neutralized the mimic. Was that the only one? What? <laughs> that was the only one? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Whoa, bro! Come on! <laughs> No, I'm not working tonight. I'm, uh, working tomorrow, I said. Bro, that was the mimic? Well, I guess that's, uh, all it took. I guess being, uh, mimic hunter isn't as, uh, bad as I thought. Um, let's see. Bad driver, you crashed into another car, talk with all NPCs, and you found a weird door in the woods. Uh, let's do this again, and just get all the achievements. 
this will be a uh, now I'm not sure if it counts one of the missions is talk to D sounds like some DPD tonight when you get home well they did release the new rift officer we already talked to this guy so let's go talk to the other ones make sure we crash into another car This is the gas station, so last time that we pulled in here, and then we turned and went that way, this time I want to go this way, towards uh, trailer park and farm. We already spoke to this guy. We're just gonna do the speed run. And I'm speaking to them again so that if the game doesn't register, I spoke to them the last time. There were actually some really cool skins in a game I saw recently that I was like, man, those look dope. I'm trying to remember what it was. See if these people do anything creepy. Bruh. People don't like cops around here. Make it quick. That's where I get my beer. Oh, he's just giving up. He's not going there anymore. Yeah, we're literally here to neutralize it, you dingus. Try it, lump somewhere else, cop. Yeah, you have a good night. You're not talking with cops. I hope the mimic comes here, you dingus. Making my job hard to find the mimic and pit the victim's family at peace? You are truly detestable people. I don't think there's anything else we can do around here. All right, we're at the trailer park. We need to go around to the next road, take a left to get to the farm. My rear view mirror doesn't really work. Hopefully we stay on the road. There we go. Bro, 
this car is hard to drive. Is that another car? Might be. I crashed into it, but it didn't give me the achievement, so parked cars. See you later, Bori. Thanks for stopping in. It's me. Yeah, it was a bad joke. Uh, you're a little bit suspicious. Uh, but I haven't seen him before, so that must mean that we're getting pretty well close to uh, the farm. And then the motel. So there should be the farm on the left soon. we got here. He's got a little turnaround. Alrighty. It's a little suspicious. But nothing really in here. I can tell. Can't mess with any of the controls or anything. Can I go up here? Nope. scared the crap out of me. This is my property, sir. At least he's being helpful. Heard rumors about people seeing or hearing them in the woods. Good night and stay safe, officer. Look at him walk away all smugly his stupid rifle. He probably saw me searching out in the barn. I probably should have asked him first and that's why he had his rifle. Maybe I deserve the scare. Nice little thing you got out there. Hold on and give me a second real quick to look at uh, this. Anyways, all right. So once we get down this driveway, 
check here. If we take a left, we can make it to the motel and then come back around perfectly. But before I do that, there's something I have to do first. supposed to go right, but I'm gonna go left real quick. We already searched around here and talked to this guy so we know that we can just skip through here. We've talked to probably one, two, three, four, five, six NPCs, so there's only three more. Homeless guy, trailer, and... I'm not sure what else. We still need to find a car to crash into. We are going back down past the gas station. Count if I crash into this car? Nope. I'm gonna leave this car across the road here to try and get hit and see if that gets the achievement. Uh, but also, we're going, if I go this way, we should find that door. What's up, Casino King? This is a pretty short game. I might be switching to Minecraft after to do a little bit of building. You're almost at work? Well, maybe I'll wait on Minecraft then. Uh, hopefully you have a good day at work, though, making that bank money. I really need more hours. Where am I right now? There was supposed to be the door out this way, but I can't find it. It's gotta be before 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, but what time is it for you now? I usually start at 1 p.m., but we might be in different time zones. It's not even 2 p.m. yet for me. 1.45. Alright, we might be in the same time zone. We've hit the wall. So let's just walk this way and sweep for the door. Yeah, I'm in Canada. The true door strong and free. Oh, we can't go further this way. Oh, that's the wall again. New York. I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. Forget about it. Deep dish pizza. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, deep dish pizza is pretty tasty. Oh, not that part of New York. Uh, 
Oh, I think I found it. There's a red glowing? You were brought away if you lived in the city. Do I agree with you? I'm living in a city right now. It's not the best. What the heck is this thing? A weird door in the woods. That's probably where the mimic entered the world. <gasps> what just happened? Oh my gosh, getting that achievement crashes the game? Bruh. I wanted to talk to all the NPCs. Alright, but there's... If I... <laughs> Yes, yeah, such a straight death. I got sucked into the door. Uh, are you taking an Uber right now, Casino? To work? Ubers must be... Must add up in cost for you. It's too bad your dad is being such a butt about your car. If I were over there, I'd do my best to fix it for you. Depending on what the issue is. I can do a few things with cars. You talked with death last night. You were sleeping in a black figure reaches hand out for you to grab. Uh, if you grab the hand, it, I don't think it was death. Because you would have died. And I wouldn't be talking to Casino right now. Or did you resist the urge to grab the hand? Alright, let's... We got our time wasted a little bit there. Show proof of your rent or, or else he won't fix it. Yeah, I heard. It's pretty poopy of him. I'm gonna wait here for a car to crash into. Oh, you woke up beforehand. The question is, do you think it was a dream or a nightmare? don't feel like an adult because they want evidence of your rent, your mistake. <laughs> I mean, I think it has to do a little bit with what you were saying in, in that it's part of keeping you where he wants you. If I wasn't paying rent, I would definitely try to, uh, give you the money just so that you could uh, get the car and then you can pay me back later but at least you're not paying for Uber but I'm pretty strapped for cash there's no cars appearing which is kind of annoying boom 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 Alright, let's just see if we run into a car. It is truly uh, something phenomenal, that's for sure. Oh, look! Oh, baby! No! We might have died! Oh, I died in a car accident. We might have... <laughs> it wasn't we might have died. It was we died. It's kind of cool how the achievements uh, do this type of thing. Okay. Now we just need to talk to all the NPCs. <laughs> I was getting an achievement. It's an achievement to crash into a car. It's also a little glimpse into my dark, cruel life. How I want to just end myself in a car accident. We already talked to all these guys before you got here, Casino. That's why I'm skipping the dialogue. Yeah, there are bad words. 
ones. <laughs> There's quite a few of them. I gotta do a lot of driving. And then I'm gonna go shoot the Mimic again because it was fun. Park my car. What's up, buddy? Speed. I am speed. I eat losers for breakfast. We can turn off our lights. We can- <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How come uh, you're the one that was so against the meme, but now you keep trying to bring it back? It's not illegal. I'm a cop. I can do what I want. See? I can be on my laptop while I'm driving. Ah! I almost crashed. <laughs> I stomped it into your ostrich-sized brain. <laughs> Hold on a sec, do ostriches have a small brain? They lay massive eggs, but they have a small brain. I'm not texting, I'm typing on my laptop. There's a difference. Obviously no texting and driving, but there's no rule, no emailing and driving. An ostrich's brain is the size of its eyeball. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, uh, they could definitely kill me. So, I don't want to mess around with ostriches. They just disemboweled me. You woke up super late? You know what that means, you're gonna be up super late. That's kind of why I was tired today. I was tired today. <laughs> I am not a bad driver. I did it on purpose. Um, today I woke up, I was tired, but I got up anyways because I'm tired of being up till 3 a.m. Especially now that they turned off the AC in my building, so it's always hot. So, like, I actually want to be tired when I'm in bed. <laughs> Look. I did that for comedic purposes. Crashing into the bushes while on my laptop. Okay. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. Sure. <laughs> I've never been more sure of something in my life. All right. If we take the left here on the map, we're going to the farm now, then the motel. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. I wonder if the people in buildings don't actually count. Count. You can't hit a pedestrian. I already tried, believe it or not. You're supposed to do stuff this morning and you may have never set an alarm. Wait, what were you supposed to do? Hopefully it wasn't like an important call or something. I hate it if I sleep in. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess. I'm not supposed to be hitting anybody. Woo! By the way, this farmer tries to jump scare you guys, so be ready. Stuff? <laughs> Fine. Alright then, keep your secrets. This guy's decent, though. He just says that he doesn't know anything. Right now, what I'm in the process of doing... it. By the way, my, I realized that I missed my channel anniversary already when I started streaming. I'm in the process of trying to like edit out and make a recap, basically. Uh that I'm gonna upload, and I think it's gonna be pretty epic. I've been spending a lot of time editing it. Uh, map. 
So we get out of the farm, take a left to the motel. Eleven months, three days, two hours. It's almost Half-Life's anniversary. It's crazy how you've been a fan of Mudden longer than you've been a fan of me. And look where that's got you. Nowhere! Nothing! Nada! Mudden has already betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. How could he do that? After all that fine art you made, Mudden? Okay, Mudden. He's a little bit of a dingus. Alright, let's go talk to the sketchy motel person. Are these motels... Are motels set up like this? Used for anything other than sketchy things? Sketchy things like drug dealers and prostitutes and... Uh, people on the run from cops? Like, do, do any normal people actually stay at these places? Or is it like Breaking Bad, basically? No! <laughs> no to what? <laughs> By the way, we're hunting a Mimic down, but I already beat the game. The game was like 15 minutes long, but it was only like a buck. So I beat it, and now I'm getting all the achievements, which is going to take me another like 2 minutes. And then... I'm free to stream something else, possibly some Overwatch if you'd like to play. People go to motels all the time. Are you sure about that? I can see like Airbnbs and hotels, but uh, motels? Those places tend to be a little sketch, at least for me. You don't even want to talk about your rank? Uh-oh. No wonder you slept late. You're depressed, aren't you? Are we gold again? Thirteen losses and you still were playing? That is commitment or addiction. half Life's like, I'm not addicted. It's, I just play it because of the shaking stops when I play it. Alright, there should be this one NPC homeless guy. And then let's see if that's all the NPCs. <laughs> exactly. First symptom, denial. You won three times, lost 13. Were you playing with your duo? All right, the homeless dude. There we go. We talked with all NPCs, and that means we have 100% Mimic Search. But now we are going to kill the Mimic again. But not legitimately, even though the graphics are bad, this, act, this game actually had me a little scared. Your duo, and then a five stack, and then also by yourself. I see. Well, if you'd rather play comp today, then I'll stream something else. Or if you'd rather take a break from comp, we can do some quick play for the remainder of the stream. And then I'm back to editing. Nah, nah. Nah to both. I guess you're busy today. Absolutely not. Oh, no Overwatch, I guess. I think that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Even without horde games, you're scared because you gotta look at me? Okay. <laughs> You've lost 10 straight league matches in every game you think so st statistically you can't lose again. Ugh, it's always that everybody in their lifetime, if they play games, have that one moment where... They are just so sure that the winning, the losing streak is gonna be over soon. I was just teasing you, Half Light. Look, this is the sound the mimic makes. It kind of sounded like an elk 
at one point that I'm like, maybe they're just trolling me. But this is actually the Mimic, and it was pretty freaky. Even though I know what to expect now, I'm kind of still, like, getting goosebumps. I hate darkness, the woods, a creature that eats humans. You crushed an old phone because you're so mad you lost five to in a row in Call of Duty? <laughs> what? You crushed your phone? You don't want to be in gold two? Oh my gosh, you want to gold one from plat? That's sad. I would be nervous to- when does the season end? I would be nervous to play more games if I were going to demote into the other rank close to the season end. But hey, now you can... Now you can show me your skills in Overwatch. Sounds like it's constipated. It probably is. It ate an entire woman before I came here. Since you're better now, though, half Lane, you can carry me in quick play. Alright, uh... I'm about to mag-dump this mimic. Get down, bro! Get on the ground! You're going down the spit. Mimic neutralized. There we go! Easy as pie. That was the game. 